Hi, I'm Jennifer Butler, and I'm here in Costa Rica at the Rhythmia Life Advancement Center. And I've had a privilege to be here as a teacher for the week. And I believe that beauty is a spiritual principle, so what I got to share was the sacred geometry of design. We all recognize sacred geometry in the universe, and it's very empowering when we can recognize it in ourselves. Um, I've started with Brandy, um, the, the co-founder of uh, Rhythmia. I've started a true beauty movement. And so, as I said, it's moving away from image and what the fashion industry tries to teach us and understanding who we are individually so that we know how to dress, we know how to be effective communicators in the world, uh, we understand how to dress with impact, uh, dress with uh, what I call with intention, and start understanding the personality aspects of the work that I do are really amazing because we all want to understand and be uh, productive in relationship. And when we try to be somebody else, it confuses our, the people around us. And what this work is very deep psychologically in nature, and we trust Mother Nature as the greatest artist. So when we tune into her rhythm, right, because she's the leader of our life, we tune into the true nature of ourselves. So Rhythmia is so different and special because it's a very, very sacred place. The land is amazing, and it feels like you're and it feels like I'm in a blessing when I'm here. I've been here several times, and it's, it's a place where I think when you want to do deep work, you need a place that is sacred and a place that is safe, and a place where you feel you can relax and really be yourself. Because the ayahuasca journeys are very special, they're very strong, they're very deep, it's very deep learning, and you want the appropriate setting. And because I've been here several times each time, I delve deeper into my own life. I feel the other important thing about Rhythmia is um, Gerard is really committed to having what you want to have in your life and looking at the obstacles that you create that get in the way of that. And so I've had the chance to really look at my life really from a different place, from spirit and from the heart, instead of trying to analyze it with my head, which really doesn't get me very far. So I think when you can look at your life with a deeper meaning, a deeper purpose, like why am I here, what are my gifts, what is my contribution. I want to say that I've been doing my work since 1979. It's always been my life's work, but I wanted to reach a new level of contributing back, and Arrhythmia has given me that gift. So I've had so many transformations since I've been at Arrhythmia, and one of them is I have a, a way that I organize and I plan my life, and I. I feel that I'm kind of strategic, and I've been successful for many years, and I always was kind of in control. And I realized when I did the ayahuasca that the universe really is in control. And the more that I could relax and surrender, I thought I had to go home and I was gonna, okay, know more and have more knowledge and wisdom, when it's actually been the opposite. It's been being willing to live in the unknown, being willing to understand that the universe has my back, it has my heart, it has my being, and that when I listen from that place. So I feel I've had very different relationships with my family. In fact, for my 70th birthday, I called all my brothers and I just took leadership. It is not something that I would have done before because I'm not the oldest, but I took leadership and I said for my birthday, I want all of us to do a conference call. I shared about Rhythmia and my work here and I felt my brothers really have a, a new kind of respect for me, that I was leading a life that was my level of integrity, and that I had achieved a level of wholeness. And, uh, and guess what? We're gonna plan a family reunion, and of course, I'm gonna invite them to Rhythmia. So Jerry often says, come get your miracle. And to be honest, I was a little bit skeptical about that, but I realized being with him that he really knows what he's talking about. And a lot of it, for me, my transformation was giving up these preset ideas I had about myself. And I'm committed to relationship. And what I realized through working with him and doing the ayahuasca journeys, that it was about loving myself first and that everything would evolve from there. And that was major for me because I kind of was the person who thought, oh, well, I've got all this handled and now I just need to find the person. And it really was about finding myself.
what I have now is a trust in the universe and a relationship with the universe that I didn't have before. Um, I trust my life. I trust its unfoldment. I trust that everything that I do is divinely inspired. And that's a huge leap for me because I was a person that was always trying to figure it out on my own. I think the other important thing about Rhythmia is it creates a community of like-minded, I was gonna say beings and spirits, and that's exactly what I mean. Everybody is really um, working to make a contribution to the planet and looking at what they need to do within themselves to have that happen. You know, I've been doing journeys for over 25 years, and they've been many, many journeys of the heart, which I've loved, but I would say, Rhythmia, I've had the greatest opening that I've ever had in my life. And that's because um, Jerry has come up with this amazing formula. So when you do the four journeys, each journey has a way of working with you. And some of them were a little bit upsetting for me, but I had to trust that when I, after I did the four, that my breakthrough would happen, and it certainly has. Mm -hmm.